All right, today we're going to cover the numbers for Plano, Texas 75075 real estate market for the month of April. And towards the end, I'm going to show you exactly where to go. So you, when the numbers come out for the month of May, uh, you don't have to wait on me. You can go straight there. All right, let's jump right on in. Hey, it's me, Gerald, an active real estate agent and investor. And I'm all about helping others with what I've learned and continue to learn since 2007. So if you're doing research or need some help selling or buying a house without feeling pressured by a real estate agent, then you come to the right place. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you get more videos just like this. Let's check out these numbers. All right, so we're here at Texas Realtors, uh, which is texasrealestate.com. And real quick, I wanna show you that this information here, uh, analysis is provided through a research agreement with the Real Estate Center at Texas A&M University. So the numbers may be a slightly a little bit different than the uh, North Texas Real Estate Information Systems. Anyhow, this is for April 2020 market stats for 75075, which is a uh, South Plano. And you can see the medium sales price is 334,400. The indicators right below these headers are from last year, one year ago. So you can see the 334,400 is up by 1.3% from last year. If I hover over that number, you can see the trend in price, which is still relatively going up. It's closed sales is, well, actually says 26, which is the same as last year at this time, even though it's down from last month. You can see on that chart right there. And then your active listings, it's at 66, uh, which has gone up from last month, which was March, uh, but it's still relatively low. And you can see it's minus 35.9% from a year ago but it's actually increased since the uh, previous month of April, which was uh, March. Then you go to the month's inventory, which is a little bit different than the absorption rate, because if I hover over, you'll see what it, it says here. Number of months it would take for the current period, active listings to be absorbed at a sale rate equal to the average closed sales for the prior 12 months. So it takes a move in average 12 months of what's sold, closed sales over that 12 month average. And the absorption rate, it's actually the number of houses sold in a given period at a specified market divided by the number of houses that are actively still for sale in that same specified market. And that's actually usually for 30 days or, or a month average. Now if we scroll down here, you'll see the growth trend for closed sales and medium price. This is for the 12 month moving average. I'll have this chart uh, available in the description below. So if you wanna download it, feel free to download this information. Now this is the number down here for the closed sales. It's 26 closed sales for the month of April. Uh, which is relatively low for this time of year. However, the median price has increased a bit since the last month and the year before. And the reduced closed sales has a lot to do with the reduced amount of listings that came on the market. Uh, you know what happened in March and April, the, um, the pandemic was going on. So a lot of people probably didn't list for you know, uncertainty and that's understandable. Something to pay attention to right here yet. Here goes 21 days on the market for the month of April. That is quite low. Look at 21 days less than April 2019, which means properties moved rather quick uh, for April. Days to close was 30, 33, which is about right because it usually takes a loan about 30 days to process and telling us it's a total of 54 days from the time it hits the market until the time it closes. Let's go to the right over here and then this will give you the median uh, price per square foot and this home size. All right, so I'm gonna show you something real quick here. Okay, so Redfin's over here is a big on the uh, data collection. So according to Redfin, the absorption rate here, a rate of homes that sell in, specif in a specific market over a given period of time, usually a month. Calculated by the divided number of homes that sold over the given period of time by the total number of homes still for sale. So if six homes sold and there's 30 left, then six divided by 30 and that's 20%. And according to Redfin, 20% or above is usually indicated, indicates a, a seller's market. An absorption rate below 50% is associated with the buyer's market. So that, let's look what that looks like over here in Plano, Texas 75075. All right, so I got 75075 selected, single family homes. And right now we got active in this zip code right now, we have 37. If I go to sold, take that one off. So you have sold, you got 27 that sold in the last 30 days. So take 27 
divided by 37. And that gives you a 0.729, so that's 73%. So according to Redfin, we are definitely still in a seller's market here. Properties are moving here in Plano, Texas, 75075. However, however, you can see right here in the last seven days, this is Plano, Texas, 75075, as you can see right here, single family home. We've only had two new listings and eight have sold in the last seven days. However, there's still activity here indicating that this is still a seller's market. So properties are moving rather quickly that do hit the market provided they are, are priced right. Now, real quick, if you want to go and look at the latest numbers. Go to DFWLocalHomes.com. Uh, come over here. Hit at the bottom one, Plano, Texas 75075 Real Estate Market Update. The video will kind of help you out with this website here. Um, these are the actual numbers that are alive. So as soon as May, so you can see right here is May 27th. Uh, as soon as May is done, it will automatically update and add on May for the 2020 for all of these graphs. And underneath these graphs, you can click here and you'll get the bigger version. So uh, tired eyes like mine can see a little bit better. But then again, it's for the average list price, median list price, uh, price per square foot, days on the market, inventory of homes, new listings, pending sales, closed sales, and a little map of Plano, Texas, 75075. I hope that helps. All right, so keep in mind, these numbers are for Plano, Texas, 75075 zip code only, not the entire city of Plano. And the reason I do this is because I live in the zip code, so I like to keep close track of what's going on in, in, the, in my zip code. Hey, make sure you reach out to me if you have any real estate needs, you wanna discuss anything, uh, feel free to call or text me anytime. Until then, stay safe, take care of your families, and have a blessed day.